All right, guys. So I want to do a review based on uh, the base. For this is for the base chunkies. Um, I see a lot of people saying that the Soundcore Motion Boom has that type of bass you can feel. Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with that, and I'll show you guys why. Uh, the only clear advantage for this one is that it has the passive reader right next to this cup. And uh, this passive reader, like most of you guys know, is in the back. This is just going to be that water test just to see how the water moves. So you can kind of get an idea of how the actual base, you know, reflects on the walls and stuff like that. Um, and the thing... The equalizer that I'm going to be using for both of these, because I know this one has its Soundcore um, equalizer. I just don't want to make it, um, I want to make it an even match. So this is uh, it right here. The bass boost. The Both uh, both of them are going to be in the same settings. Um, and the song we're going to be playing is called uh, One More Chance by Biggie. So here goes the Soundcore Motion Boom. At 100%, both of them, we're just gonna go at, at its fullest. Here we go. guys here goes the d9 at 100% as well um, here we go So as you guys can tell, the D9 takes the win. You can feel the bass. Um, when I first bought this one, it sounds amazing. It sounds great. It gives you like that professional JBL, like the Charge 4, for example. Just this is probably the... the uh, it sounds much better, obviously, than, than the JBL Charge 4. But it gives you that professional sound. Um, as compared to this one off the bat. And I feel like the advantage of this one is that the equalizer, you can download it versus this one, it doesn't have one. But if you download one, like the one I showed you, where you can, um, you know, set up the, the bass and all that stuff, this one sounds much better. It sounds way better than the Soundcore. Um, this one, I if you guys, have, if, if some of you guys have this speaker, I you guys have to put it in the on the, on the ground. It's just, it sounds really, really good. Um... Honestly, like I said, this one has an advantage because the passive radiator is right next to it, but it still couldn't compete with the D9. The only the only thing I hate about this speaker is just that it's heavy versus that one. It's just probably it's much lighter. But trust me, guys, go with the D9 for those bass junkies that want to feel the bass.